<laughs> my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fine, you're healthy and safe, having a great time with the ones you love. Mm, in this video I will show you my latest portrait of a beautiful lady. I'd love to share the whole story behind this drawing. Well, I, I didn't mean to at first, but when I was editing the video, the process of this drawing, there were some memories floating through my head, some moments that happened while I was completing the portrait over the past six months. It's been some crazy times and I just decided to tell you something more than you can see in the drawing. For the first time I saw the face of Ai, the woman you already know from the portrait. It was about a year ago and I just I was just stuck on her face, on her eyes, especially for a few minutes. I knew I wanted to recreate this little magic, but I, f I felt a little insecure and I saved a few of her photographs for later, just because I didn't feel like I could do that at the moment. And then a few months later, I went for a little trip to London to visit some galleries. And in the National Portrait Gallery, something really hit me there. This oil painting of a woman you can see on the screen. She didn't even make an eye contact, she was looking away, but I fell in love with the painting at the first sight. I love the colors, I love the posture, I love the woman, I love the calm in her face. I love the fact that she's a poet. <laughs> And I felt such a warmth from her presence f through the painting. I know it, it might sound a little strange and... Yeah, but it felt so right to stand next to her. <laughs> and I felt calm and so much energy and passion at the same time. And I wanted to grab a pencil right there and put the same feeling into my own drawing. I remembered those eyes, I knew I was ready to capture it. Well, at least give it a try. Ai comes from Kazakhstan. Uh, her full name is Aidana Sahari. I hope I pronounced it well. Aidana Sahari, it's beautiful. Um, she told me Ai means a moon in Kazakh. Um, Dana means wise beautiful or a wisdom and her family name Sahari means sunrise it's wonderful isn't it <laughs> In case you want to watch the real-time process or some narrated parts of it, including the materials and the techniques I use in, in my drawing, please check out my Patreon. Uh, there are more than 150 videos right now full of tips, uh, tutorials and also real-time versions of my videos. I would be really happy if you consider becoming part of my Patreon family. Uh, I will put the link to the description down below this video if you want to check it out. This drawing is created with graphite pencils on a paper. Why pencils? Um, since I was able to hold something in my hand as a child, it was a pencil all the time, always. I don't remember why exactly. Maybe it was because anyone can afford to buy an ordinary pencil and I think it's really intuitive to use it, unlike other art mediums. But now, when I came back to creating after a few years, Drawing with an ordinary pencil feels um, rare or, let's say, exceptional to me. It's 
so simple and still such a complex tool to create with. You can contain every single color tone in reality using various values, just tones of gray. Depending on the pressure you use, the, the grade of the pencil you choose to work with, on the amount of layers in your shading which reflects your dedication and patience. <laughs> it's so simple too, but yet so powerful to recreate an illusion of something real. I love to witness the whole process. It's becoming alive. All those simple lines become meaningful altogether. It took me six months to complete it, um, about a million of pencil strokes, 100 hours of drawing and hundreds of hours just trying to understand her universe. It took so long because I didn't want to rush it, I just kept coming back to this work only when I was in the mood to work on it and in the meantime I was working on some different projects and different drawings. You may have heard the story behind Modigliani's paintings. He's known for his blank eyes. Uh, he just didn't paint the eyes in the portraits. They say it's because he didn't know the soul of the person he was painting. And then he finally did, when um, he was painting his wife, the love of his life, Jeanne, and she was quite moved by it. I think it was the portrait in a blue dress. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have to know the person to capture the charm. Uh, I don't really know if it's possible to fully understand and know another person or even yourself. <laughs> I just remember the story about this muse of Picasso, uh, Silvet, a French girl. He admired her beauty and she admired him as an artist. That's what their relationship was about. Since the very first day he saw her in a park with her hair tied up to a ponytail, he painted her for so many times. He just loved her blonde hair. Mm, the paintings of the blonde ponytails became famous and they say even Brigitte Bardot became blonde and got this hairstyle after seeing these paintings. There are some things magical about others, something fascinating about their work, um, and I believe we don't have to know them, but we want to be part of that magic somehow for a while. We want to appreciate it, and what's more beautiful way, in that way than this? <laughs> So when I come back to the portrait, it changed the game for me in some way. I know what I want, I, I know I want to create something that can bring the feeling I experience in the gallery. And not just for me, um, I want to make others, you, <laughs> feel the same or anything of the kind as well. Um, this would be something that can make me happy and I, I would be really grateful if I can use drawing to achieve this goal. Um, so thank you for your support, uh, hopefully you liked the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, also share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel because many new videos are coming soon. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time, bye!